Autoloader is the easiest, fastest way to get your data into Delta. How can it be so good? Let me show you. First of all, it is super flexible. It is compatible with Parquet and Avro and ORC and CSV and so many other file types. And for storage, it covers all three major clouds along with the Databricks file system. The syntax is so easy to pick up. It's spark.readstring because it's structured streaming underneath. And here's where things are different. To use Autoloader, our format is now cloud files and it's now in the options where we specify what format our data is. If we want, we can specify our schema or just provide some hints. But it's the load statement that contains the original original storage location. Now, because we're streaming, let's go straight to writing out to Delta. To do that, we need a write stream. If we want schema evolution, let's put that in the options and add a checkpoint location so that if something fails, like our cluster, we can recover from where we left off. Finally, say where you want the data to be saved to, either a path or to a Unity catalog table. Secondly, it's going to incrementally process your data. No need to stream it in and then reconcile it with a batch later on. No, we're going to do this properly and we're going to do it all in one step. Autoloader can discover billions of files. Backfills can be performed asynchronously to save on compute costs. Now there are two different modes to choose from, directory listing mode and file notification mode. Now directory listing mode is the default option and it can save you money in the long run with a reduced amount of API calls per underlying storage. File notification is more advanced but this will scale absolutely beautifully. You will need to set up more permissions and that's going to vary greatly depending on where you're reading from so these are the docs so go check those out. And finally this pairs super nicely with Delta Live tables allowing me to write it in SQL, which means I can write it in only two lines. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot in Data and AI, follow me for more.